Days had passed since Henry had left the tunnel and returned to the yard for hard work. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased with Henry's determination, but found him to still have a fear of the rain. It's only water, he would tell Henry. I know that, sir, but I'm more afraid of the storms. There's no telling what they could do. James the Red Tender Engine would often tease Henry back at the sheds for his fears. After all that, you're still afraid of a few drops of rain, he'd say. If the rain washed away your green paint, being painted red wouldn't look too bad on you. On second thought, you put me in a bad light. I'd look less splendid because of you. Say what you will, said Henry. But one storm can cause massive confusion and delay. James just scoffed smugly. Please! No rain is going to keep me from doing my job. He then puffed away to collect the express. The other engines, including Gordon, were unamused. The weather later worsened. Rain was beginning to come down. Droplets hit James and his coaches. But James comes down the main line in record time. What a scaredy cat! What a scaredy cat! He laughed. Heavy rain had caused a mudslide to come onto the line. James's driver couldn't see it due to the heavy rain, but when he did, it was too late. He applied the brakes, but the heavy coaches and the slipper rails only made James slide and slide. James crashed into the mud, splattering all over himself and his red paint. He tried reversing but his wheels were stuck. The passengers were yelling about how bad the railway was and how silly of an engine James was. From the dry comfort of their coaches, of course. Henry was ready with a goods train, dreading the weather when the station master came. James, the express are stuck. We need you to go the rest of the way. Come on, old boy, said his driver. We can't let the storm keep the passengers stranded. Henry later arrived to see James and the coaches. Now he had a laugh. <laughs> what a shame, he chortled. That mud has really ruined your red paint. Perhaps you should turn green like me. On second thought, don't. You'd ruin my image. James felt embarrassed. <laughs> Never mind, said Henry. It can happen to any engine. Soon enough, 
Henry pulled James out of the mud and took him and the compass down the main line. Together they brave through the stormy weather, all the way to the last station. James was humbled. I'm sorry for teasing you. You're splendid, Henry. That's all right, smiled Henry. I'm just happy that even on stormy days, I can be really useful. <laughs>